Good morning ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I am Colin, welcome to my life and video and hopefully you can see that but my hands are frozen solid, I've just put the car down to the garage again because fingers crossed uh, the mechanic guy is going to be able to I it was a bad idea trying to film on this road it's like one of the main roads in Coat Bridge but hopefully the mechanic Paul is going to be able to figure out what type of pump it is I need and fingers crossed they can maybe even get me the pump and stuff like that because I'll give them the money for it anyway but the other thing the fact that it's like ice cold right now the sun's just bit burned down on the back of my neck it is actually quite peaceful today because there's uh, the old people's bowls club and stuff like that as well but right now I'm just too cold to be able to even concentrate on anything and I've actually just realised as well that I've got oh, two seconds that wasn't 30 mile an hour anyway but I've got this uh, video set so that it will play is at 1080 but the editor I've got on my phone won't run it any, I don't think. Unless I could try and maybe download, not so legally, uh, edit software on Natalie's laptop so I could put all these files onto the laptop and then do it that way. Because of how cold it is, my back's getting ready to go out as well. I've still got another mile, no, another couple of miles to walk up this road. Nah, I don't want to be a big gene with because I'm not going to bring them because it's going to be way too bloody cold for them. I mean, I'm starting to freeze. But, I need one bit down now, ducks and stuff. But, yeah, I figured that I doubt I'll get much anything other than this care kind of video out today, so why not? I'm actually considering doing a live stream on my phone later on. Just see how that goes. Might go good, might go bad, I have no idea. And hopefully he's gonna even see me. Cause the sun's kinda beating down on me right now. But yeah. And there's like guy out there in the allotments just giving me a funny looks because I've got my phone to my face. But for all you know, I've actually seen people in Asda and stuff like that walk about like this. Because they've been on Skype and stuff like that and get that must kill your body data. Like, God almighty! For all this Skype call I've been on without uh, Wi-Fi It was like two minutes just to say hi to Jaden and then I went off quickly But Hopefully the car can get fixed today because as soon as the water pump gets fixed That should hopefully fix the rest of their problems Hopefully Paul does notice that The check engine light is back on again I think that could be because of the water pump and then, so it's all that's done. If it's done early enough, then I can go to my wash and stuff like that after it. And I can easily go to Halford, so I need two new headlight bulbs. Because my headlight bulbs are kind of knackered. Because when they're on, the only way I can see any of the road is if I put the high beams on. Which, isn't very good. But for this, this walk will do me good. Even though I'm saying that now, I just realised that I've still got a big fuck off steep hill to walk up. And I'm not, I would say I'm quite lazy now, but I haven't walked many places in quite a while now. Because it's either I take a car or I get a lift. So. This can help. Oh, look at that. Let's walk by, by an AC Porsche. I kind of guess it's on a 911 because all 911 since 911 started pretty much look the same. I'm probably going to have to pause this in a second because my back's starting to go out. And if my back goes out, I'm going to be fucked for walking back down here again to get the car again. Which I could easily get a taxi, but why in the hell should I waste money on a taxi? 
just uh, basically go ahead in the road. She has a couple of mile walk and stuff like that, but it's not really the point, is it? But the plus side is to my body heating up and stuff like that now is just my hands. <sighs> well, one downside to using this phone for your video and stuff like that is the fact that if you end up holding it in your left hand, you'll most likely end up hitting the fucking Bixby button, which is a right pain in the ass. But, well, what can you do? Go Pelly Park. I think this is the bit where I actually flew a drone over last time, and it got to somewhere up way over there, where the flats and that are. They started to lose signals, I got right. Never done this before, let's try the emergency send back button, and luckily enough, it did work. So if it didn't, then I'd have had to try and go hunting for it. Noisy cars on the road, thinking where else the car's supposed to be. But yeah. I know that the Phantom 3 has got a distance of, I think it's 400 metres or is it 5, I can't really remember but all I know is I, I was trying to see if I, I was at a park next to Natalie's dad and stuff like that and so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, if, see how, if I can get to Natalie's dad's house through where I was but I noticed that it started to lose well, signal and all the rest of this stuff. So I was like, what the hell's going on? Apparently I was about 600 feet away, which was either a glitch or something else, I'm not really too sure. But I actually just can't really wait until I get back in because I'm absolutely freezing. Even though now this isn't exactly the warmest right now. It'll be a hell of a lot warmer than out here. And then my hands can defrost because I've gone pure red. <laughs> oh, my blood's not going back into my hands fast enough. I can't actually remember what way the fastest way is to walk back from here. But there's a dude a bit that we've sat on a couple of times. Even though we didn't really have a picnic, it was basically like a picnic type thing, minus being that living food. Because Jaden had a bottle and stuff like that, and that was all we had. And I had the drone and stuff like that. I flew my old drone here as well, but... We had drone, as soon as it went up too high, maybe like... 80 metres up or something like that. It would just load the signal and stuff, so it just crash to the ground. And... Animals and all the rest of it would go for it. I think a dog went through it at one point. But... If I can be bored at some point... I'm going to try and get some string or fishing line, something that I can maybe hang a drone from my bedroom roof or something, at least until I can get a place of my own and stuff like that and uh, set up in what I suppose I will call my office. I mean, like, since I'm self employed and stuff like that, technically I do need an office. No vehicle sticks to body limit on a show and it's a complete joke. But uh, right now my hands are fucking freezing and everything. But I think if I head up this way I might be able to get to it in time but I'll I'll be back in a second. <sighs> Natalie's gave me a cold as well. Definitely not enjoying that part. Oh. Sure enough, she got a cold while under all her covers and absolutely bloody roasting. But, yeah, the reason why I'm actually struggling to breathe right now is because with how cold it is and stuff like that, my, your back tenses up. And because I've got a really bad back, it's put a lot of strain on it, which means I can't really get much into my lungs or nothing like that but we're on the final wee stretch and then it's dusty if I can pull apart the cars here after you can barely get fucking through and I think I've hit someone's mirror once so it's our own fucking fault they ended up 
we were driving right in front of me, they stopped and they ended up making it so that I couldn't actually get through. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. Drive through, try and do it as careful as I can. Come up to a mirror and they're like, excuse me, you just hit the car. I'm like, excuse me, you parked, stupid. Why did you just park? Like, wait, that car mirror's parked. He says, I go closer to it, I'll show you what I mean. It's quite a bit on the kerb, but there's still enough space there for a normal size pram and that stuff to get through. I'm bloody starving. Ugh. I think it's because I've, really I've not had anything to eat yet with the But the way that car is, you can actually tell that it's on the kerb quite a bit. Because the way cars park on this side of the road, they stupid, they basically don't park up the kerb or nothing like that. I do sometimes, but not too far on that and stuff. But, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is, because I don't know if this is going to be a two-parter or not, so I'll leave it the way it is now. If it ends up dead dark and stuff like that, it means I've left it until after I've got the car back and I rest it. I'll just see what else I'm going to add to it, right, and jab on the now because I'm that bloody sore. But, yeah, maybe see in a bit, maybe not. Right, so that's the car fixed. I'm already halfway there. And then what I started recording as I was heading out because it's probably took me a hell of a lot longer to do it, but it says that the car is ready to go, so fingers crossed. The pump has been replaced or fixed or whatever it was needing done and I think it's just no other problems even come up with it I'm hoping it mentions the check engine light because I actually forgot to even forgot to even mention that to him but yeah but there is a slight change to this video because I was just going to do this bit and that was it so I'm probably going to be too tired to do my live stream later on because of all the walking and well, Jaden and all the rest of it because Jaden's dead iffy the way stuff in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this I'll stop it now continue it when I'm done my work oh, bloody noisy because as soon as I'm done work I'm going into Asda I'm going to get some hot chocolate and stuff like that for me and Natalie so yeah I think that's because you've been able to hear most of, or all of what I've said, because I've not actually checked any of the footage yet, which I suppose I should have done, but when I had stopped and went into the house and stuff like that, I just took a quick rest because the socks I'm wearing are really, really thick, my feet are sliding up and down them, so my feet are on bloody fire, but I'll catch up with you in a second or two. Okay, it's a lot darker than I thought. Uh, two seconds. It's not much bigger, but it'll do. But anyways, guys, I got the car back. Brand new, well, the pump's working again, stuff like that. I think it's a new pump that's on it. I was only charged 20 quid for the car to get fixed, so it's happy enough with that. And, well, got work early in the morning, so right now I'm just sitting watching one of my favourite movies. Titanic, in case you didn't actually see that. Yes, 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 I know. But, I like it. See, or that, or documentaries and stuff like that, I'm always watching them now. And I've, well, felt like, last, for like an hour or two, so far today, I've been checking up prices for going to maybe, for me to maybe go to China next year. Because Rocco wants me to pop over to China and visit them and stuff like that, so... I might be doing that next year, so I'll let you know closer to time. But instead of this being too long a cut because of the darkness and the rest of it, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and come on today. And goodbye for now.